Welcome to the Elida Fieldhouse where tonight in the regional semifinals Division Three action, the Liberty Center Tigers take on the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Hello everyone, I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Dave Bowen and our entire WSN crew. And Dave, it doesn't get much bigger than this in a regional championship game. You look at both of these schools, Dave, they both come in at 23 and two. They're powerhouses in their conference. They both average 54 and 52 respectively. And one team gives up in Liberty Center 35 a game and the Titans give up 33. You can't get any even that. Yeah, it's very close, Danny. It's great to be your wingman tonight for this regional semifinal for the opportunity of these two teams who mirror each other in so many ways to come back on Saturday evening for the Elite Eight and a chance to get to Dayton in the Final Four, Saturday night at seven. Who's it gonna be, Liberty <laughs> Center or Ottawa Glendor? Tonight's pregame is sponsored by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Dave, let's take a look at the tips for the game for each of these squads. Let's start with the Liberty Center Tigers. Yeah, Liberty Center, first and foremost, I'm sure it's been a focus all week. They have to handle the full court pressure they are going to see from Ottawa Glendorf. A staple of the Ottawa Glendorf program, 2-2-1, full court man. They want to speed you up. Secondly, they're a little undersized to OG tonight. They have to check out on the defensive glass. If they give up second and third opportunities for this Titan squad, that will spell doom. They must own the defensive boards. And then finally, on a night like tonight, you want to see the stars shine. And for Liberty Center, that is none other than Emmy Gray. She is the reigning Northwest Ohio Athletic League Player of the Year. She had 40 points in the district semi to tie the school record. And she is going to Ohio Northern to play basketball. Averages three steals a game. Leads the scoring column for Liberty Center at 16 points per game. Second in several other categories. Also tied in rebounding with four per game. And Dave, on the other side of the ball, the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans. Look, I don't have to mention it. They are known statewide. What a program they have. Continuously defending every bit of their territory every year. Always getting to the regionals. Making marks at the state tournament. Just an iconic program. Yeah, they are known statewide. Troy Yan has led this program to another level. The reigning WBL Coach of the Year. The keys for Ottawa Glendor. They got to find Katie Kaufman, the six foot one senior, tied at leading score at 13 points per game. She has a height advantage inside. They want to exploit that against Liberty, Liberty Center this evening. A player I want us to watch as viewers, though, tonight, my second tip, the maximum role player for OG, in my opinion, Carly Brinkman. Carson Erford, Katie Kaufman, leading scorers at 13 points per game. But Carly Brinkman, she averages three steals per game, second leading scorer at eight points per game, always around the ball. We talk about players who have a nose for the ball, for the basketball. Carly Brinkman is one of those players. And then finally, overall, again, you look at the essay in its entirety for Ottawa Glendor. They want to do, uh, they want to have up tempo. They want this game to have transition to it. If it gets into that half court slobber knocker, they can play that way, but they don't want to play that way. If they can handle and Liberty Center's defensive pressure and then create turnovers with their own and get this game at a pace that is unfriendly to the Liberty Center, Ottawa Glendorf will punch their ticket to the Elite Eight on Saturday night. Our first quarter sponsor tonight is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. When we come back, we'll have the tip-off of tonight's game between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Liberty Center Tigers right here on WOSC. First, from Mount 
Welcome back to the United Fieldhouse for the Division Three Regional Semifinal Game between the Liberty Center Tigers and the Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans. Danny Holbrook, Dave Bowen, and David. <laughs> you look over at OG's side, and they've pretty much filled up their side. Liberty Center is about uh, about half full, but they brought a nice crowd in tonight. The two uh, teams that travel really well. Yeah, and again, we're at the Elida Fieldhouse. It's Little Mecca trying to get to the Mecca, the University of Dayton, but such a great atmosphere. Dave Evans and his crew, the athletic director here at Elida, they put on a show for everyone to enjoy. Now it's just for the players to get out there and get it done. Let's take a look at the starting lineup, Dave. First for the Liberty Center Tigers, they're going to go with number one, a five foot seven senior, Emmy Gray. She is the player of the year in the conference. Number two, a five foot seven senior, L. Moeller. They'll go number 10, a five foot six senior, Nicole Keller. Number 13 is a 5'9 senior, Eliza Jones at seven points a game and rounding out the starting five for the Lady Tigers. Number 54, a 5'11 senior, Kaylee Blanton at seven points a game. They come in with a record of 23 and two, six and one in their conference, 10 and one on home court and 13 and one away record, which is pretty amazing day. 14 games, 13 wins on the road. Yes, and their two losses are to Brian, 41 to 26, and Anthony Wayne, 64, 36. For the Lady Titans of Otto Glandar, they'll start Start number four, sophomore guard, five foot seven, Carson Erford at 13 points a game. She's a first team All Western Buckeye League and a first team District Eight. Number five, a five foot seven junior, Carly Brinkman. She's second team All WBL. She averages eight points a game. Number 21 is a six foot one senior, Katie Kaufman, first team WBL, committed to play at Malone with her sister Erin, which is absolutely awesome. Number 24, a 5'9 senior, Michael Aldrich, 13 on Western Buckeye League. And number 32, a 5'2 junior, Caitlin Kimmett at seven points a game, and she's second team all done to be up. A lot of honors on that Titan squad. <laughs> Absolutely. And you mentioned their record 23 and 2. Their losses were to, to excuse me, to Toledo Central Catholic, 56-55, and to Fort Laramie, 55-52. Two losses on the season by a total of four points. Two, two, two really, really good teams in the state yes. of Ohio. Let's yes. not kid ourselves. Those are two great teams. So it's going to be a loud, raucous night here, which I'm ready for, Dave. And uh, we're just about underway here. First game tonight, uh, an easy win, really, uh, for the Margareta Lady Bears as they roll over the Harvest Prep uh, Lady Warriors. Yeah, they came away with a 48-36 victory. They're in the house to watch at least a half of this game and then they'll take that back with them and Coach Neal and his crew will put together a game plan once they find out who their opponent's gonna be. And this is kind of cool, Dave. We watched the Ottawa Glendorf boys team play all year long and we look over here and all those members of that team are in their blue and gold cheering on their classmates, which is great to see. And they would like to continue their tournament trail as well. It's a very special feeling when both the boys and girls team is experiencing success and you're rooting for each other. Success breeds success. Nobody wants to lose. And the OG contingent, obviously, here in numbers. So we got a dandy on tap. Danny Holbrook, Dave Bowen from historic Atlanta Fieldhouse. Where else, as Miles Holiday would say, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Yeah, Miles has nailed it. Our <laughs> officiating crew, Hannah Keller, Jeffrey, Mil Jeffrey Milcary, and Zach Metzger. Keller with the toss. And the Lady Titans will control it. This is Carly Brinkman. She'll bring the ball down. They'll go left to right. Here's a dribble drive by Carson Erford. She puts the shot up. Rebound comes down. It's corralled in by the Titans. And a nice rebound there by Katie Kaufman. And she gets fouled on the way to the bucket. And that was one of our keys to the game right away. Tips to the game. Liberty Center, the Tigers, they have to check out and Katie Kaufman gets an offensive rebound and draws a foul to go to the free throw line. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, and Delphus. And St. Mary's, call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. So Katie Kaufman goes to the free throw line, knocks in the first one, and the second one's on the way, and it's good. Otto Glendorf leads on the Altman Outdoor scoreboard, 2-0 with 7.45 to go here. If you're an OG fan, you like her sticking those free throws. She struggled from the line in the district final against Jefferson a little bit. Two for two here in the early going. Cole Keller gets the ball over to Emmy Gray, and there's a steal. They're going to take it up on the right side, and they score. 
Carly Brinkman knocks it in. She makes it 4 nothing on the Osmond Outdoor scoreboard. And the OG faithful are screaming at the top of their lungs. She's making me look good. Nose for the ball right away. Gets the steal, the light ball, turnover, and the layup. Carly Brinkman. Here come the Lady Tigers. This is Kaylee Blanton with the ball up top. She's going to swing it over. A near turnover there as they are being pressured heavy by the Lady Titans. They'll go corner. Three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down and a nice rebound there as they lose the handle on the ball. But Kaylee Blanton lost the ball as she brought it down. I thought she should have took it straight back up. There. Should have went back up, but easier said than done. Right, Katie Kaufman right. had walled up and then Blanton and Micah Aldrich, hail ball turnover. Look, Aldrich, she went down on that one like it was a fumble. She's right. going to take care of it. it, it it's really easy to, to, to be a coach over here with this microphone. Oh, on absolutely. <laughs> this is Bland with the ball. She'll go left side. They'll dribble drive middle of the floor. Three ball from the left side. It's up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's going to be corralled by Carson Erford. She goes left side. 6.41 to go. OG up 4 nothing. They try to go inside. They'll go inside to Kaufman. They'll kick it back out. Coffin trying to get position down on the low post. They'll go Kate Carson, excuse me, Carson Erford. A little tongue tied there. Liberty Center playing man to man defense. This is Micah Aldrich with the ball on the right side. They're playing off of her. Yeah, scouting report says you don't need to guard her behind the yard. Nice cut there by Erford. And she loses the ball out of bounds, and it's going to go back to the Liberty Center Tigers. Good defensive possession right there by Liber Liberty Center. The Tigers do a nice job at creating the turnover. 6-14 to go. Ottawa Glendorf leads 4-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Our three-point sponsor tonight is Powerhouse Electric Supply, always a proud supporter and sponsor of Ottawa Glendorf Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electrical needs. Powerhouse Electric, our three-point sponsor. And they throw the ball away, and it's going to go right back to Ottawa Glandorf. And yep. I love the way Emmy Gray was getting around her teammates, telling them what to do and how to do it. That's a floor general right there, Dave. Yes, good leadership. She needed that back cut, but she also had to get rid of it because she was on the verge of traveling a little bit off balance right. when, she had it, when she took her jump stop. Here's Carson Erford, the fabulous sophomore for the Titans, kicks it out. They'll go top of the key. Three ball from the top. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's brought in by Emmy Gray from the Tigers. She outlets it in a running. Kaylee Blinn misses the shot. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Coffin. She gets it out to the right side. This is Caitlin Kimmett. She'll dribble drive straight up on the right side. Shot goes off the mark, and it's brought down by Gray. Tempo is fast and furious both ways. Liberty Center with a good look. They don't get it. Same thing for OG. They'll go back inside, try to find Blanton down low, and it's blocked. And a nice block there by Katie Kaufman. And they'll get it out to the right side. This is Brinkman with the ball. She'll dribble drive foul. I thought about taking a shot. She's going to kick it back out. Kick it out to the right side. They'll go back top of the key. Kaufman from the top of the key, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's brought down by Liberty Center with five minutes to go in the first quarter. They'll go top of the key, 4.53 to go. OG leads 4-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And a nice cut there by Emmy Gray. And she puts two on the board for the Tigers. And it's 4-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, nice pass from her te teammate, L. Moeller. Does it, finds her on the cut. First bucket for Liberty Center. Nicely done. Titans throw it away, and it got caught between two Titans. Carly Brinkman. And Megan Horseman both thought the other one was going for the ball, and it goes out of bounds, and an unfortunate turnover for the Titans. And with this pace, you've got to have a bench. Liberty Center bringing three off the bench, two rotating in for OG. 4.31 to go. Danny Homer, Dave Bowen from Elida Fieldhouse on the campus of Elida High School. This Division Three regional semifinal match with a berth in the regional championship on the line. And we're going to get a foul out top, and I believe they're going to get Megan Horseman on that foul. Unfortunately, Horseman got caught up in a switch there, and uh, they're going to get her on the foul. Near steal there by yes. Carson Erford. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quick hands by the young sophomore. And one thing we didn't mention in our, in our pregame, these two teams, they know each other. They played in this game last year, Liberty. Uh, center and OG, OG won 48 to 29. They're going to get another foul, and that foul is going to go against, I believe, 
Let's see who they call that on. They'll go Olivia Grothaus, the sophomore. They got her on the call. And Coach Yant has now used seven players here early mm -hmm. in the game. So, yep. like his style right now. Under out of bounds at the box set. You're looking for the opposite block here. See if you can get a screen to screener situation and find the opposite block open. Molly Perry will trigger the ball in for the Tigers. There it is. They tried to go to it. They tried to, and there's a steal as Micah Aldridge steals the ball away, and they'll get it to Carson Erford, and she'll bring it down the floor with 3.55 to go. Liberty Center going to a big zone here, Dave. Yeah, 2-3. Good under out-of-bounds defense by OG. This is Erford. Thought about pulling the trigger on the three. Boy, she wanted that one. She's going to dribble drive. Little 12-footer off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's brought down by Liberty Center. They're down 4-2 with 3.38 to go. Yeah, Erford overcooked that one. The adrenaline sure flowing. Did. They'll go back to the corner. This is Molly Perry on the drive. Trying to find somebody. There's a dribble drive to the baseline, and they're going to get a foul on Katie Kaufman, the 6'1 senior, with 3.23 to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, you got to attack this man defense of OG, but you got to do it under control. If you lose perspective in any way, shape, or form, they're going to make you pay right, right there. Great job by Liberty Center. Center. There's the opposite block again. And you here see Emma Gray tried to get it, and there's a steal from Liberty Center. Nice job there, dribble drive to the hoop, and they're going to get a charge, and they're going to get a charge on 32. Emerson Gherkin, the 5'11 senior, as she just barreled into the opposition and it'll go back to Ottawa Glandor. Yeah, good transition defense off the turnover there by OG. Get in position to take the charge. They do so. I like the aggressiveness, though, of Liberty sure. Center right there and Emerson Gherkin trying to get to the window. You'll take that foul any day and twice on Sunday because you're attacking the basket. So here come the Titans. This is Carson Erford with the ball. She'll swing it right side over to Carly Brinkman. A little corner ball, little dribble drive, skip pass across. This is Erford from the left side and knocks it down. Carson Erford, the deadly sharpshooter, knocks in the triple, and it's 7-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, and Liberty Center throws it away, and it's going to go back to, oh, they're going to say it was out on Ottawa Glandor. Erford makes the adjustment from the shot she overcooked to nothing but cotton on, on that one. Her 19th three of the year, she shoots. 38% behind the arc. And there, Liberty Center throws it away. And those three-point sponsors are Powerhouse Electric, always a proud supporter and sponsor of the OG Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electrical needs. 2.52 to go. Danny Hobart, Dave Bowen from Elida Fieldhouse. The OG Girl Titans, Lady Titans, excuse me, <laughs> leads 7-2. This is Erford again, little jumper, and she knocks mm. it in. Carson Erford shows you why she's first team all district eight. And they've got a 9-2 lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's a nice dribble drive by Emmy Gray, and it goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. Here come the Titans. OG gets a time or gets a bucket here. Liberty Center's got to think timeout. And that ball goes off the mark. Here's Erford again out top. She's going to dribble drive, kick it back out. Three ball from the left side, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's corralled by Savannah Wreckers. She gets the ball and gets it back out to her teammates, and that's where Carson Erford will set it back up. You can't give OG multiple looks, and that's what's happened here. They've had two offensive boards. Three ball from the right side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. Nice big rebound there by Emerson Gherkin from the Tigers, and they'll bring it down with 158 to play. So kind of, a, uh, kind of a frenetic pace here, Dave, as uh, Liberty Center trying to find the bottom of the basket. And the ball goes off the OG Titans. It'll go back to Liberty Center. Yeah, the defense by OG, again, it's been relentless, holding Liberty Center to two points here in the first quarter. They'll bring in Olivia Grothaus and Katie Kaufman. They'll check back into the game. Coming back into the game for the Tigers, Kaylee Blanton the 5'11 senior, and they're going to need her all night with that mm -hmm. size of Ottawa Glandor, yeah. Dave. Liberty Center's not in the danger zone, but they're getting close. Kenny Loggins is warming up in the <laughs> background. Yeah. They need a really good possession here and find the basket cut into this seven-point deficit. 9-2, 1.44 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's a three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. It's brought down. It's rebounded by... The Ottawa Glendorf Titans, they'll take it up on the left side. Nothing off the mark. Here come the Lady Tigers. 
And everybody trying to find <laughs> yeah. some offense right now. There's a dribble drive on the right side. Shot goes up. And that ball's brought down by number 21, Katie Kaufman. It's Katie Kaufman patrolling the boards right now. Yeah, one and done for Liberty Center. The Tigers getting some decent looks, but they can't find any offensive rebounds, struggling to find the basket with that initial shot. you got to give credit to OG. I think they've sped Liberty Center up a little bit here. Not accustomed to playing at this frantic pace. And Erford almost lost the ball, gets it under control, takes a little jumper, misses that shot, but it's brought back down by the Lady Titans. There's a nice dribble drive and a bucket there by Carly Brinkman, the 5'7 junior, makes it 11-2 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard, and it's all Ottawa Glandorf right now. And there's a nice dribble drive there by Bia Barrett, the 5'5 senior who averages seven a game, and she's gonna go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. And if that foul is on Katie Kaufman, that's her second, and it is. It is on Katie Kaufman, a big foul there. Big foul, early storyline on this one. Kaufman, she gets in foul trouble. I know OG has other players, but Katie Kaufman, that's 13 points per game that's going to the bench right now. And Barrett knocks in the first one. Yeah, this is my first time this year getting to see the OG Lady Titans. And I'm telling you, I'm really impressed with Carson Erford. I know we're only in the first quarter, but you can just tell that she is a player on the floor, and she just has all that it takes to be really, really good. Absolutely, and she is only a sophomore. That's, yes, right, mm -hmm. absolutely. They'll get it over to Erford. Yep, she's She'll got it in her hands. She'll run the show here. <laughs> 34 seconds ago, 11 to 4 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. And she gets tripped up, and they're going to get a foul on Eliza Jones on the trip. And I'm sure she did not mean to do it. They just got tangled up. But nonetheless, they're going to say the foul. The respect that you just shared and the comment you made about Carson Erford, Liberty Center, has that same respect yes. because they ran two at her to get the ball out of yeah. her hands. Yes, you're absolutely right. So OG will take it out of bounds right in front of the Liberty Center bench. 29 seconds to go. They'll get it into Erford. They'll take a quality look. It looks like Erford's going to bring it out and settle for the last shot of the quarter. Erford out top, guarded by L. Miller. She's going to dribble drive, free throw line takes it up. Off the mark, rebound comes down to Liberty Center with 10 seconds to go. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Here come the Tigers, and they throw it away, and it's going to go back to Liberty Center as it went off the Titans' hands. 4.7 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Ottawa Glendorf leads 11-4 to on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. I'm excited to see what Liberty Center runs here. You should have a play set up to score with 4.7 so seconds on the sideline out of bounds. Let's see if they can get a good look. And L. Moeller will inbounds it over. Here's the shot. This is... Shot is up and he's blocked. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's <laughs> Micah Aldrich, the five foot nine inch senior. Gets My up in the air, goodness. blocks that into the Ottawa Glendorf student section. I'm surprised the ball came out. <laughs> Absolutely right. They're just gonna keep it. And there's a near steal, and that's how the first quarter ends. After one quarter of play from the Elida Fieldhouse, the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans lead the Liberty Center Tigers 11 to 4. You're watching high school basketball on WPS. Welcome back to the Atlanta Fieldhouse. After one quarter of play, the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans lead 11 to 4. Our second quarter sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit your statebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. All controlled there in the first quarter by the Lady Titans. What do the Tigers got to do to get back in this one? Down seven. Well, they got to get that quality look and drill it. They were one for nine from the floor in that first quarter. One for six from two, 0 for three from three, two for two from the line. They had four turnovers, eight boards for OG. They were three for 10 from two, one for five from three, two for two from the line, 10 boards and four turnovers. And there's another steal by the Lady Tigers. They'll bring it down the floor. They'll get the ball out. And they'll set up shop, and there's a nice cut there by Gray as she has the ball in the middle of the floor, turns around left-handed, nice. and a nice shot there by Emmy Gray, the 5'7 senior who knocks in 16 a game. She cuts the lead to 11 to six with 7.29 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. She picks up her second 
bucket of the day for four points. Three-point shot from the left side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's put back. And number 32, Emerson Gerken, excuse me, number 32 for the Titans, Kaitlin Kimmett, will go to the free throw line. So another situation, that's a tough one as far as that offensive rebound. It's off an air ball, and that's really hard to check out or read defensively. And because the ball just isn't coming off the rim and the, the tempo, the, you know, the, the break of the ball hitting the rim and reading it, and OG at the free throw line as a result. Kaitlin Kimmett knocks in the first one at the least finish recipe free throw line, and the second one is good as well. And it's 13 to 6 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor, bringing resort style living to your backyard every day in the luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. They'll go down low. The Tigers will. Shots off the mark. Here come the Lady Titans. They'll bring it down the floor. This is Olivia Grothaus. Gets it over to Kaitlin Kimmett. Caitlin Kimmett, who just knocked in the free throws. They'll go right side to Brinkman. Brinkman goes over to Micah Aldrich. OG taking their time on the offensive end. They're up 13 to 6 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's a dribble drive to the right side. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Liberty Center. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. And she steps out of bounds. They went inside to Molly Perry, and Molly Perry steps on the end line. It'll go back to the OG Titans. Yeah, they were leading her a little bit and just went too deep, and as a result, the turnover occurred. And right in front of the OG, OG <laughs> student section, they were making the call for the official as well right there, <laughs> They've made Danny. a lot of calls tonight, Dave. <laughs> we can hear everything they say. Yep, nice and loud. <laughs> Absolutely. But they're accurate. Oh, they are yeah, accurate. They know the game. <laughs> Here come the Titans. They'll go down low, push the ball to the block, and a nice turnaround there by Caitlin Kimmett. And Carson Erford gets the rebound, puts it back up, misses it. Brought back up, Carson Erford stayed with it, Dave, and knocks in the double, and it's 15-6 on the ultimate outsource scoreboard. Erford's got seven on the night. Multiple offensive rebounds again for OG. They are relentless on the glass. Liberty Center has to find an answer. Here come the Lady Tigers with 5.55 to go. Perry tries to go in line. Almost traveled. They'll get it back out to Gray. Gray puts it up and scores. Emmy Gray. Boy, when they need a bucket, they go right into the super senior. Yep, the stars shining right there, right there for Emmy Gray. That's what she needs to do. And with that bucket, we're going to take a break with the timeout. You're watching regional semifinal action on WOSN. Welcome back to the Valley Fieldhouse, where the Ottawa Landorf Titans lead 15 to 8. And Dave, Coach Davis takes a timeout after a made bucket there. What, what is he telling his kids right now? Well, again, right here he's setting up. We got to just dig in a little bit harder. I think he's addressing the, the defensive rebounding right yeah. now, giving up too many boards. And th it does look like they're going to go to their 1 2 2 half court trap, maybe, or are they just matching up? I think they're just matching up. Now, we've been wrong before. Yeah, Emmy Gray is at the half court line. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're going to go three quarter court, one, two, two trap. So, one to get this defense in and sets it up with the timeout. And there's a turnover. There's a turnover. They go, try to go. Carly Brinkman throws the ball to Michael Aldrich and it just goes over her hands. So, a benefit there for the Liberty Center Tigers as they're down 15 8 with 5.37 to go here until halftime. They've got eight points, as you said. Emmy Gray was six. The, NWOAL Player of the Year. Liberty Center's going to need some other girls to step up. This is Gray. She's guarded by Savannah Recker out top. She'll swing it across to Nicole Keller. Keller goes right side. Dribble drive in the middle. Go back over to Kaylee Blanton. Shot goes up. She misses that shot. Rebound comes down and an outlet pass. And they find that streaking Savannah Wrecker. She misses the shot, and we're going to get a foul on the play. Another offensive rebound. This one in transition, but Carson Erford, she's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. So Carson Erford will go to the line. She's got seven on the night already. The super sophomore. Kaylee Blanton picks up her second personal. Tied for second leading score honors on this Liberty Center squad with seven. She has not dented the scoring column yet. Sorry about that, no, Danny. No, 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 no. She knocks that one in is all I'm saying. She is smooth from the line, Dave. She's got one more with 5.06 to go. OG doubles up Liberty Center on the scoreboard 16 to 8. And chance for Erford to pick up her ninth point, and she does. 
She knocks that one in. She's got nine. And it's 17 8 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Emmy Gray. She's been pretty much all offense for Liberty Center. She's got six of their eight tonight. They'll swing it from side to side. 4.53 to go. Division three regional semifinals from the historic Elida Fieldhouse. Emmy Gray is just being hounded out top by Savannah Recker, who's doing a fantastic job. There's a nice cut to the basket. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. They get their own rebound. And there you saw number 12, Gracie Miller, with the move. And there's a steal. And a nice play there by Savannah Recker as she throws the ball off of Emmy Gray. And it'll go back to the Titans. Outstanding basketball IQ right there by Savannah Recker. Hustle and smart play to knock it off of the Liberty Center play. Player and a chance for OG to get this into a double-figure lead. 4.25 to go. Titans with the ball. They lead 17 to 8 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. This is Carly Brinkman. Skip pass across the floor. Olivia Grothaus takes it inside, misses the shot. And a great job there by Savannah Recker. Right now, Savannah Recker is all over the place, Dave. She's Miss Hustle right now. She is doing a nice job at both ends. The Liberty Center contingent not happy not, with no. the, the outcome of that play. <laughs> We're only 100 feet away. There's so Carson have no Erford, idea. misses the shot, hustles and gets her own rebound. She's going to bring it back out, and Carly Brinkman will go at the top of the key. She'll swing it around. This is Savannah Recker. They'll go right side to Aldridge. Aldridge goes back to Grothaus. Grothaus looks down low to see if anybody's go. There's a nice cut by Erford, and she scores. Carson Erford. You want to talk about a high IQ, that's what IQ in basketball is all about. 19 to 8 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard, she's got 11. And give Grothaus the dime, nice pass on the, for the cutting Erford, and there's a turnover for Liberty Center. Another turnover there by Liberty Center. And with a 3.40 to go until halftime, the OG Lady Titans lead 19 to 8. So a low scoring affair for, for two really good teams, but you gotta give a lot of credit to OG's defensive prowess. Yes, and low scoring affair, but again, overall, that's what you see as you go down the sure. tournament trail. Turns into a half court game. Liberty Center looking to trap with this one, two, two half court pressure. This is Brinkman, she'll swing it off to the right side. Oh, oh and we got to travel there. You saw Olivia Grothaus kind of get caught up in stepping or dribbling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> stepping, dribbling, passing, and the, the turnover results. 11-point lead, Liberty Center. They need a bucket in the worst way, but everything has been challenged by this OG defense. Emmy Gray with the ball up top. She is hounded by Megan Horseman for the Titans. She passes her off to Olivia Grothaus. They've done a great job of keeping an eye on Emmy Gray for the Lady Tigers. And they'll go back to Gray. She gets a screen. She's going to go baseline right side. Shot goes up. A lot of contact. Nothing called. And here come the Titans. This is Grothaus down the right side. And she misses the layup at point blank range. And the Tigers corral the rebound down 19 to 8. And then Olivia Grothaus is going to commit the personal foul. And that wasn't a frustration no, foul. No, not at all. She not missed at all. the layup, but got back into defensive position and, and really tried to play aggressive. Just an aggressive foul there. So a missed opportunity there by the Titans as they miss a layup and then commit the foul. And the Lady Tigers from Liberty Center trying to get back in this one down 19 to 8 with 2.49 to go on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Stick around after the game as we will give out a Stolly Hustle Award. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award on the WOSN YouTube page. And there's a steal out top. And nice hands by Micah Aldridge. But it gets back to the Liberty Center Tigers. They'll go right side drive. Baseline shot goes up. And it's off the mark. And that rebound is brought down by Aldridge. And she'll get it out to Erford, who brings it down with 2.20 to go. Liberty Center just unable to find any kind of continuity on offense, and you've got to tip your cap to the OGD. And there you see Carson Erford got tangled up and went down hard on the floor here at the Elida Fieldhouse. With the alternating possession, it's going to go back to Liberty Center, but again, another offensive rebound for OG with the ensuing held ball tie-up. So 2.14 to go here on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. 
Ottawa Glendorf leads 19 to eight. This is Gray with the ball up top. She'll swing it around to Keller. Keller guarded out top by Micah Aldrich. They try to go down low to Blanton. This is Blanton on the side. She goes dribble drive on the baseline. She'll kick it back out. And there's a steal by the Titans, and they're on the floor, and Coach Ant tried to get a timeout He there. sure did. I he thought did. he got thought it. He, he it, thought yeah. he got it. But we're going to go with the held ball. <laughs> if you like defense, this has been a Picasso here in the second absolutely. quarter. Yeah, if absolutely. you like offense, not it's so much. It's been a water collar. <laughs> yeah. It's an 8-2-4 quarter right now for OG. 147 to go. OG leads 19 to 8. There's that pressure by Liberty Center to get it into Erford. Erford double teamed. She's going to break containment. Gets across the line. Goes dribble drive. Gives the handoff. And they score. Micah Aldridge cuts on the left side and knocks in the deuce to make it 21-8 with 135 to go. Erford with the assist. So strong with the basketball. Here's Blanton as she tries to go baseline. And she kicks it out. I Emmy like what Gray. Liberty Center's trying to do with a lot of back cuts, but it's just not there. Emmy Gray misses that shot, and they're going to get a foul on Gray. And both officials came together, and they both had a foul called. That's a good piece of officiating right yeah, there. Yeah, they were communicating with each other from the get-go. And that's going to be a foul on Emmy Gray. Her second of the game. Kaitlyn Kimmett will take the ball out right here in front of our booth. Boy, I'll bet those uh, outdoor uh, basketball games at the Erford House or something. <laughs> yes. There's a long pass as they try to go Carson Erford. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Liberty Center. They had the right idea. They just threw it out of bounds. Threw it out of bounds, but again, Carson Erford does not give up on that. No, she does she not. She sprints clear to the other end, tries to save it, makes it a close call for the official, but it's Tiger basketball. 1.15 to go here until halftime. Emmy Gray brings it up for the Tigers. She's been all the offense the Tigers have had tonight. She's got six of their eight. She's going to dribble drive foul line. Shot goes off. It's off the mark, and we're going to get a foul, and it looks like they're going to get... Carson Erford on the foul as she went for the rebound. Yeah, Emmy Gray, I like how she's being aggressive offensively. What works against her, though, is there are five OG girls out there knowing she yeah. is going to be aggressive offensively. Excellent team, team defense by the Lady Titans. So Liberty Center will inbounds it underneath their basket, and then they get it out to Gray. She's behind the three-point line. We're under one minute to play here in the second quarter. And a nice cut there, but a steal by the Titans. And the ball goes down on the floor, and we're going to get a held ball. And that looks like it's going to go back to Liberty Center. So a break for the Tigers there as they turned it over, but they get the held ball possession. And they got a deflection right there with their initial defense off of the catch, knocking it away from Carly Brinkman. So they'll take it out in front of the OG student section. <laughs> That's not where I'd like to take it out. <laughs> as those young men and women are letting their voices be heard. All in good fun, though. This is L. Moeller with the ball up top. They'll go Gray on the far side. She is being pounded by Savannah Recker. They get the ball down low. Shot goes up. It's off the backboard. And the Titans will bring it in with 25 seconds to go. They break across the half point, or excuse me, half court line. And... A lot, of, a lot of conjection there. Uh, nobody's really controlling the ball there. But it goes back to Liberty Center with 12 seconds to go. And here come the Tigers down 21 to 8. Shot goes up and it's blocked. And they're going to get Erford on the foul. My goodness, that's going to be her second, Dave. And uh, just got caught wrong place, wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time. That's going to put Gracie Miller to the free throw line. I like Miller's aggressiveness right there. Draws the contact. Cargo will never foul a jump shooter, but it's in transition. Easier said than done. So Gracie Miller will go to the line. She's a 48% shooter, and she misses that one. And it's 21-8 to eight with yeah. 6.9 seconds to go. Gracie's got to slow down. She was shooting that basketball before she looked at the rim. See if she makes the adjustment here, Danny. 
Much better. Much better. Takes her time there. She knocks it in. Belize famous recipe free throw line. So here come the Titans. This is Brinkman. She's going to bring the ball down the right side. She's going to go straight to the basket. Shot goes up, and it's off the mark. And that's how the first half ends. After one half of play from the Alada Fieldhouse, the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans lead the Liberty City Tigers 21-9. to We'll be back with second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to the Elida Fieldhouse. We're at halftime here. The Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans lead the Liberty Center Tigers 21 to nine. And Dave, we take a look at the halftime statistics and for Liberty Center, not a lot going on. Yeah, they've got some work to do. Three for 20 from the floor, that's 15%. Emmy Gray is the only player for Liberty Center with a field goal. She has three of them, but she needs some help from her supporting cast three free throws by other players that's what they have as far as denning the scoring column and if you're liberty bent or liberty center and coach davis you're talking about offensively we got to reverse it still got to look for the back cut and we got to hit the offensive glass but right now the players from liberty center you know you learn in school and in history and science class that two-thirds of the world is covered in water Right now, they think the other third of the world <laughs> is covered by white shirts. <laughs> the OG right. Titans. And for the OG Titans, Carson Erford, the super sophomore, everything is advertised. She's leading all scores on the floor. She's got 11 on the night. But really, it's their defensive prowess that's winning the game. Yeah, they have had excellent defensive pressure. Coach Yan, I'm sure, has encouraged his team to keep that up, keep moving your feet. Defend the back cut. They've been susceptible to that a little bit. They've had excellent help side defense on penetration. And then offensively, you know, they're not shooting the ball extremely well either. Seven for 29. A lot of it's been off of penetration and then missing the shot. Get in there, jump stop, go off of two feet. Another factor which we talked about in our tips to the game, 11 offensive rebounds for Ottawa Glandor. Liberty Center cannot allow them to play volleyball in the glass like that in the second half if they're going to get back in this one. Dave, how much of this, of Emmy Gray, do, do you think she feels the pressure that she has to score because her teammates are not getting it done? And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just what's happening right now. Well, there's pressure, but she's also a senior. Sure. And she's a player of the year in the NWAL. But you can't, when you got five of you out on the floor, you can't go to the dance all solo. you got to have your partners out there in step with you. She needs some help. So as we get ready to get the third quarter started here, the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans lead 21 to 9. So a nice crowd on hand for this regional semifinal. And the winner of this one will take on the Margareta Lady Bears as they defeated the Harvest Prep Lady Warriors in game one tonight. And... Uh, should be a great regional final, regardless of who plays in that one. Excited to see the adjustments here in the first four minutes, critical for Liberty Center. So here come the Titans. They'll bring the ball down the floor. This is Carly Brinkman, trying to push it inside into Katie Kaufman. They'll swing it up top to Aldridge. And Kaufman dealt with foul trouble in the first half. Let's see if they look to go to her early and often. She has the ball right now. She goes dribble drives the middle of the floor. She kicks it back out to Aldridge. Aldridge on the left side. OG taking their time up 21 to nine. Start of the third quarter here. Our third quarter sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. A complete face guard on Carson Erford here to begin the third quarter. L. Moeller on her. You're absolutely right. There's the shot. Goes up and banks it in. A triple, a powerhouse electric triple, and it goes off the glass, and it's 24-9 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Micah Aldrich, her second three-pointer of the year. <laughs> They'll take it in Ottawa Glendorf. There's a three from the right side. It's air ball. It comes down, and it's rebounded by the Titans. They'll kick it out down the right side. Here come the Titans running the floor. And a nice cut to the basket by number 32, Caitlin Kimmett. 
She's going to be called for the offensive charge. They called her for the offensive yep. foul. Emmy Gray does a great job of stepping in front. She takes one for her team. You know, Dave, when that play was going on, I looked down at the paper. I thought it was a done deal, and you're right. They called it a charge. So here comes Emmy Gray. She is the leading scorer for the Tigers right now with six of their nine. There's a three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. And there you saw Kaylee Blanton, this 5'11 senior. The left-hander tries the three, and she misses that. Tonight's nice three-point sponsor is Powerhouse Electric Supply. Always proud supporter and sponsor of OG Athletics. Come in and see for today all your electrical needs. Blanton shot that three with confidence, but she hasn't made a three this season. And we're going to get a foul on the play. And let's see. Fouls on number 32. That is Caitlin Kimmett. That is her second. And to defend Kaylee Blanton just a little bit more, Danny, she hadn't shot a three this season yet wow. either. Didn't look too bad. No, not at all. It was yeah. an open shot. <laughs> but there's a reason that, you know. So 5.58 to go. Danny Holbert, Dave Bowen from Elida Fieldhouse Regional Semifinal Game Number 2 here. The winner goes on to play the Margareta Lady Bears. And nice entry pass inside. And nice defense there by Katie Kaufman as she stuffs the ball. Here come the Lady Titans. They'll bring it down the floor up 24 to 9. They'll reset it up top. This is Carly Brinkman, the 5'7 junior. They'll go Erford down the corner. And she's as smooth as the skin on the grape. Carson <laughs> Erford knocks it in. 26-9 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Erford's got 13. There's another block. My goodness. Katie Kaufman really playing good defense in the interior of them down low. 5-0 run to begin the third quarter by OG, and they've got the basketball. Looking to start driving nails here in the third quarter. Nice back cut. Nice back cut. You're absolutely right, Dave. And Micah Aldridge knocks it in. Liberty Center is going to take a timeout with 4.57 to go. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSC. We're back here at Elida Fieldhouse. Danny over Dave Bowen here on WOSN. Lady Titans lead 28-9. Yeah, 7-0 run there. That last bucket, Carly Brinkman penetrated to the elbow, realized that she had Micah Aldrich and one defender between herself and Aldrich, and Aldrich makes the back cut. Great, great fundamental basketball. OG with the bucket. And here comes Liberty Center. They need something to happen they in sure a do. big way. This is Nicole Keller up top. And they throw the ball away, and it's stolen by Ottawa Glendorf. Here come the Titans. They outlet it down the floor. They run the floor. Oh, nice left hand. Kate, or excuse me, Katie Kaufman with the left hand, knocks it in, and she's going to go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line for an old-fashioned three. Old-fashioned three. She attacked the rack, drew the foul, smiling as she was getting off the <laughs> floor. Right, she was. When Dr. Naismith invented this game, I don't think he envisioned the ladies doing it like that. Left-handed fundamental basketball. Great assist, great finish. I'll, I'll tell you, Dave, when the rebound came down, they immediately looked down the floor. Yep. They ran the lanes just like they do in practice, the old triple drill, and they did it to perfection. Shot goes up, and it's good. Katie Kaufman, the 6'1 senior, she's got five on the night, and the OG Lady Titans lead 31-9 with 4.35 to go in the third quarter. There's a dribble drive, and we're going to get a charge. And you saw that from back here, Dave. Emmy Gray just barrels into the opposition, and they're going to get a charge on that one. Yeah, Emmy Gray trying to do what a senior needs to do for her team right there. I don't flaunt the effort whatsoever. It's just that she's got the cell phone out, and she's trying to dial something up. But all she's doing is getting a busy signal right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Nicole Keller checks in, and they'll give Emmy Gray a much-needed break. And the Titans are solely in charge of this one with 4.27 to go, up 31-9. to nine. They'll get it out to Carson Erford. She's guarded out top by Gracie Miller, and Erford dribble drives down low. They'll kick it back out. 
Nice dribble drive on the right side, and there you see Olivia Grothaus, the 5'7 sophomore, didn't waste any time, Dave, when she got the ball, went straight to the rack. Yeah. It's 33-9 on the ultimate outdoor From scoreboard. our viewpoint, she read the situation. Yes. That's a yes. one point per game scorer right there. She I saw, couldn't have done yeah. that, and I averaged close to doubles <laughs> my senior year. She read it, reacted, finished, and it is a big lead now for OG, up 33-9. There's a shot that goes up, and it's a foul, and they're going to get Micah Aldridge. Yeah, I don't think people understand when you and I work together. I'm working with a double-digit score. That's what I'm working with. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, that's what they used to put in the newspaper. I don't know our younger viewers. Do they know what a newspaper is? Newspaper, no, yeah, no, uh -huh. no, 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 no. The double-digit scores. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but this third quarter, we talked about the first four minutes being critical for Liberty Center. Unfortunately, that is their first point of the quarter. And OG, all they've done is go on a 12 to 1 run here to begin the third. Yeah, and the OG student section really getting loud now as they lead 33 to 10. The second one on the way, and it bounces off the rim. It's corralled by the Titans. They'll bring it down the floor. This is Savannah Recker. She gets it over to Erford. Erford guarded out top by Gracie Miller. 3.32 to go. OG leads 33 to 10 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's Carson Erford from the right side. That goes off the mark. Rebound there comes down again. to Roadhouse, puts it back up. She misses that one. Here come the Lady Tigers. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. They come up empty, but another offensive rebound for the Titans. Gracie Miller will go left side, gets it in the corner. Three ball from the left side. That's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Erford. She's going to bring it down to the right side. She's going to take it up, and she scores. Carson Erford, my goodness, she's a player. She's got 15 on the night, and the Titans lead 35-10 with 2.54 to go. Yeah, Molly Perry hustled back. Great defense, but Erford just read the situation, did not initiate contact, and finished. And a nice little dribble drive there by number 50 for the Tigers be a Barrett and that was an aggressive move for that young lady and that's what they needed at that point. They needed it at that point and they need it on their next several possessions. And they're gonna get a foul out here on number 12, Gracie Miller as she reaches in and grabs the ball from Micah Aldridge. So a couple of new substitutes for the Lady Titans. They'll bring in Katie Coffin off the bench and they'll bring in Carly Brinkman. Two starters. You got a nice little rest there here in the end of the third quarter with 2.34 to go. Two twenty-nine to go. OG leads 35 to 12 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Are you surprised Liberty Center is uh, staying in this zone here, Dave? What's well, interesting, Emmy Gray is not in the game right now, and they go to the 2-3 zone. Good inside-out action right there. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Caitlin Kimmett tickles the twines. Oh my goodness, it's 38-12 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Kimmett's 28-3 of the season, second on the team in that category. Nice little bucket and up and under there for the Lady Tigers. Bea Barrett again. Bea Barrett, a little aggressive move there. That's her second back-to-back uh, -back buckets there. 1.39 to go. Titans lead 38-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Danny Hobart, Dave Bowen from Elida High School. Historic Elida Fieldhouse. This is what regional basketball is all about here in the state of Ohio. Titans will pull it out, reset the offense. And Carson Erford getting ready to check back in, getting in much needed rest. And there's a block on the inside. The OG gets the ball back. And right there, <laughs> Caitlin Kimmett, Johnny on the spot. She's got seven on the night, and the Titans lead 40-14. Yeah, Kimmett didn't give up on the play. Nice block by Emerson Gherkin. So we're under a minute here in the third quarter. There's a three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Lady Tigers get the rebound, and it goes awry. Here come the Titans. They'll bring it down the middle of the floor. This is Michael Aldridge. Gets it over to Brinkman. Brinkman takes it up, and they're going to say she scores. They're going to say the foul, and she gets the shot off and scores. Just excellent transition there by OG. Unselfish basketball. Carly Brinkman, when she got the basketball, she wasn't thinking jumper. She was thinking get to the glass. Does, draws the contact, 
puts herself at the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line for a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Carly Brinkman, the 5'7 junior. She's got six points on the night, trying to make it seven. The Titans lead 42-14. 66% free throw shooter. And looks good on that shot. It goes through the net, and it's 43-14. So Nicole Keller will bring the ball down against a little bit of pressure here with 36 seconds to go. They'll dribble drive middle of the floor. Shot goes up, and the last three buckets, yes. Bia Barrett has looked really impressive. And it makes it 43-16 on the night. Barrett's got six. Bia Barrett, spunkability. I'm telling you. Off the bench for this Liberty Center, squ center squad. Nice move there down low by Katie Kaufman. Misses the shot, but the Titans grab the rebound. Katie Kaufman gets it at the high post. She'll dribble drive left side, and she scores and is fouled. Katie Kaufman, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's as good as free dessert on your birthday right oh there, Danny. Goodness. Attacking the rack, the left side, left hand. Another three-point play opportunity at the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throw Line. We said Kaufman was a key. They didn't really need her early on. She got in foul trouble, but she is making her presence known here in the third quarter. Knocks that one in, and Dave, the lead is 30 with seven seconds to go here in the third quarter. Liberty Center brings it down, and they throw it away, and it's going to go back to Ottawa Glendorf with 2.5 seconds to go and a chance to put more on the board. This OG squad, they are playing with purpose. Yes, they are. Erford half-court heave, shot goes off the mark, and after three quarters of play from the Elida Fieldhouse, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans are one quarter away from a regional championship matchup as they lead 46-16. Here at the Alina Fieldhouse, where after three quarters of play, it is total domination by the OG Titans as they lead 46 16. Yeah, in that quarter, OG was 10 for 15 from the floor for 67%, three for three from the line, eight boards. They only had two turnovers. Liberty Center, three for nine from the floor, one for two from the line, two boards, and three turnovers. So Liberty Center desperate to get back in this one down 46-16. They'll go low post. They go inside, and again, you see the <laughs> Bia Barrett as instant offense right now for the Lady Tigers, and she's doing her part to keep them in this game. Yeah, she's going to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. She averages seven a game. She's at eight right now. And looks really impressive on that one. She knocks that one in. Yeah, she's the leading free throw shooter for Liberty Center at 82%. She's got nine on the night. And the second one on the way, and it's good for a 46-18 score on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Our fourth quarter sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Remember, FDIC equal housing lender. And the Titans throw the ball away, but they somehow come up with it again. And Olivia Grothaus is on the floor, and we've got a timeout. With 7.23 to go in the fourth quarter, we'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Seven twenty-three to go here, back here at the Alina Fieldhouse in the fourth quarter. The Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans lead 46-18. Danny Holbrook, Dave Bowen. And the Titans trying to punch their ticket to the regional championship game. They're taking their time on the offensive set, Dave. They know that uh, all they have to do is keep control of the ball, knock down some free throws, and they've got a date with Margareta. Dave with Margareta, and right now coming out of the timeout, Coach Yant, he's brought the offense up high. I think they're looking for a back cut or an opportunity to penetrate and get to the window. And we got a whistle on the, what are they saying? A Travel. Travel, okay, I missed that call. <laughs> Coach Yant coaching it up like it's a one-point <laughs> yeah. one game. I love it, I love it. Liberty Center will get the ball inbounds. This is Emmy Gray. She brings it down the right side. Gray's got six on the night. 
Dave, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe she scored in the second half. She has yeah. not. Yeah. The leading scorer for the Lady Tigers. And there's a block there by Carly Brinkman. And Carly Brinkman does a great job of getting the ball. She's going to bring it all the way down the floor. And she finds a cutting Olivia Grothaus. She's down low. And they're going to get a foul on the play. And it looks like they're going to get Kaylee Blanton on the foul. Sorry, they got L. Moeller on the foul. I thought they had Blanton. She was right beside there. It was a picture poison yeah, kind of say, situation. Was, <laughs> I had one girl, she had the other. Mm -hmm. so. And they throw the ball up into the front court, and OG corrals it. They'll take their time on the offensive set. They lead 46 18. They'll go inside and get the ball into Katie Kaufman, and she's fouled. Boy, Katie Kaufman is such a presence in the middle of that floor, Dave. Yeah, first team WBL selection, first team District 8, 29 blocks on the year, but she has really done her damage on the left block here in the second half. Draws the contact there. She's at the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. She's a 55% free throw shooter. She misses that one, and they'll bring in Carson Erford and Micah Aldrich back in the game for the Lady Titans. And the second one is on the way. And she knocks, or she misses that one, excuse me. So Eliza Jones will bring the ball down the floor. She'll swing it to the right side. Lady Tigers down 46-18 with under six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. They knock the ball down and go back to the Lady Tigers. So don't want to get ahead of herself, Dave, but a, uh, but a big-time matchup here Saturday in the regional championships. Presumably the Lady Titans will take on the Margareta Lady Bears. Yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Both teams will get prepared by their coaching staffs, both coaching staffs. They won't be sleeping much tonight. No, they won't. You're right. As they prepare, it's a quick turnaround, 48 hours. You got a day and a half to prepare. You have yeah, Friday's practice. Come in for a walk around Saturday and get them on the bus and show up for a regional championship. Titans leading this one 46 18 with 5.25 to go. Oh, Carly Brinkman so wanted to shoot that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Carson Erford with the ball up top. She'll swing it around. We're down to 5.15 in this one. And the OG faithful can feel it. This is Erford dribble drive, and she's going to be fouled. And she's going to be fouled on the play by Kaylee Blanton. Now I know I got that call right. There I you know go. I got that one. In a situation where Erford penetrates and Liberty Center, they, they rotate over, but Erford just so strong. You got you to make a decision if you want to get in front of her and try and take a charge because she is going to get to the window. And in that situation, it was a reach in, and the, the foul was called. Erford misses that one. You can check out our highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award on the WOSN YouTube page, Dave. We're going to have a Stolly Hustle Award winner at the end of this game, and we've got a few candidates we out do. there tonight. Yeah. We do. Erford with her second free throw from the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. She misses that one, and the rebound comes down, and a nice job there by Caitlin Kimmett. She corrals the rebound, and she gets fouled on it. Another offensive rebound for OG. That has been a nemesis for Liberty Center all night long. You have to be fundamental on the glass, and OG's strength and tenacity has presented itself. They're going to leave Kenneth completely <laughs> open, and she wanted to shoot it. She had a big smile on her face. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think Coach Yant wanted her to hoist that one up. <laughs> Kaylin Kimmett had that, uh, that bright-eyed look. She wanted to knock that one down. Well, I'm going to tell you, if it was a 10-point lead, I think she would have been thinking, I'm firing this one away. <laughs> Again, Kimmett is the second uh, leading three-point field goal uh, maker on this team with 28 on the season. I just so think she's Coach, not unfamiliar yeah, with yeah, that territory. I just, I just think Coach Ant wants to play a little keep away yep, here. Yep. Get these kids to the foul line. Yeah. There's a Carson. nice backdoor cut. Yeah. And they throw the ball away and into the into our bench or into our uh, desk here. Micah Aldridge yeah. comes over, gave us the look. Yeah, right? said, I'm sorry, but no, nothing to apologize <laughs> no. about. I never apologize there, right? for hustle. Yes, never <laughs> apologize for hustle. They'll get it out top. This is Carly Brinkman. 
And they'll bring it top side, and that's where they'll reset the offense. With 4.15 to go, OG leads 46 to 18. Thank our sponsor tonight for the scoreboard, the Ultimate Outdoor, bringing resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchen. Our three-point sponsor tonight has been the Powerhouse Electric Supply, always a proud supporter and sponsor of Ottawa Glendorf Athletics. Come in and see us today for all your electric needs. Dave, we can't do it without these sponsors. Absolutely. And they do a great job of providing us the funding to show these great matchups. We appreciate their support, and we love our viewers when they visit our sponsors say, hey, we heard about business. your business. That's right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the OG student section just got handed a whole lot of free popcorn, Dave, and they're enjoying their evening here. There's a nice cut there. And Carly Brinkman scores on an easy layup, and that's exactly what Coach Yant told him to do, nothing but layups. Yeah, great offensive movement, long possession, five girls moving all the time. Pretty good defense by Liberty Center for the uh, entirety of the possession, but at the end, OG gets the power shot. Emmy Gray misses that little layup there for the Tigers, and that's been that kind of night for the Lady Tigers. Katie Coffin with the ball in the corner, 2.57 to go here. Carson Erford with a really nice pass back door. Micah Aldridge is cutting to the basket, and it goes out of bounds. She's got great court vision, Dave. She really, I saw that from my vantage point here, but they, the pass itself was just amazing. Mm -hmm. Ball goes back to Ottawa Glandorf. Molly Perry enters the game now for the Lady Tigers. Yep, starting to see some substitutions now for yep. Liberty Center. Emerson Gherkin comes in, also Bia Barrett. So they're getting some of their starters off the floor, getting a round of applause by their faithful. The Tigers with 23 wins this year, they, they broke a, their own team record from last year. So a program that has had an outstanding season coming to an end tonight, but 23 wins on the year, 22 last year. Definitely creating the climate and culture that you want to have heading in the right direction. There you see Carson Erford, the super sophomore, scores again on the low post. She's got 17 on the night, and the OG Titans lead 50 to 18 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. And there's another turnover there by Liberty Center, and Carson Erford's going to walk this one up with 2.13 to go, and the Lady Titans can feel a regional championship on the line. And they lose that one out of bounds. Yeah, one of the few unforced players tonight on right. OG's side of the ledger. Turnover, ball goes to the Eagles. And the OG Lady Titans starting to get some of their starters out of the game as Carson Erford takes a seat, Micah Aldridge takes a seat, and Katie Kaufman takes a seat. Great game for those young ladies tonight. One fifty-five to play here in this one. There's a nice spin move on the left side, and it just goes off the rim. <laughs> there you saw Emerson Gherkin with a really nice move there. Yeah, the senior, she's battling, just giving it all she can here at the end of her career. Great effort by Emerson Gherkin. Boy, there's nothing worse feeling as a senior knowing that the season's about to end and you're losing in a regional semifinal game. It's got to be tough for these young ladies. Yeah, it's been a great season, a great Absolutely. tournament run. You just don't want it to end. Absolutely. There's a nice shot up there by number 32 for the Tigers, Emerson Gherkin. So Emerson Gherkin, the 5'11 senior, getting her last few shots in here with 144 to go. That foul was on number 23, Greta Liebrecht. First one on the way at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line, and that's off the mark. Five games this week for me, Dave. The old voice is, uh, I'm going to need some honey and some tea tonight. You are rolling. <laughs> you are in your climate. You are rocking and rolling. Uh, well, I appreciate the job you did tonight. You were fantastic. Well, thank you, and I look forward to doing 
uh, this championship game on Saturday With on the WSN. Legend, yep. The legend, Mark, Mark Shine. Shine, yeah. We have both the D4 and D3 championship games here on Saturday. Little Mecca. And I'll be at Lima Senior for the Spencerville yep. Ottawa Glandorf matchup, a big time district matchup in boys basketball. It's the most favorite time of the year. <laughs> Sing it, brother. Yes. <laughs> that D4 matchup is going to be between Crestview, the Crestview Lady That's Knights, right. and the That's Columbus right. Grove Lady Bulldogs. Got a little interest there in that we one. We sure do. <laughs> and that was a game that was played in the regular season back in January. Crestview came away with the win, 52 to 39, but the game was much closer than the final score. Two great coaches and Mark Gregory and Brian Schrader. They sure are. Yeah, absolutely. And we've seen that matchup at the regional yeah, level absolutely. before. Absolutely. You and I yeah. called that a couple of years ago. Yeah. And, and, a, and a good game this year in the NWC mm -hmm. between those two squads. Mm -hmm. So very familiar with each other. So It's not at high noon. It's a 1 o'clock yeah. start. One o'clock start. But it'll be like the OK Corral. You better <laughs> be ready to go. The, the CV and the CG Corral, right? <laughs> yeah. That's right. 51 18 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. And a lot of reserves in the game right now for both teams, which we love to see these young ladies getting their reward. Stick around after the game for our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. OG, the student section doing the I Believe cheer. Heading towards the Elite Eight in that regional championship game. Coach Gant has had tremendous success and the dream remains alive. They still have not captured that elusive state championship yeah, you know on, the, on the girls' <laughs> side of the ledger at OG. And there's a nice job of getting position in there. Madison McKee, the six foot two freshman and a bright future for that young lady. Yeah, nice job getting her feet set, going up through contact and finishing. So we're under 30 seconds here. OG leads 53-18 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. What a performance tonight by the Lady Titans. They will move on to the regional championship game where they will play the Margareta Lady Bears in an in what some would say is a fantastic matchup between those two schools. Mm -hmm. And that's going to do it. OG's going to dribble it out. The Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans win 53 to 18. They'll move on to play Margareta in the regional finals. When we come back, we'll wrap this one up and give out a Stolly Hustle Award. You're watching High School Sports on WLSN. Welcome back to Elida Fieldhouse, where the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans win this one 53-18 over the Liberty Center Tigers. And Dave, our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight is. We got to go with number five, or excuse me, number four for OG, Carson Erford. She set the tone early, and then she led this squad to this victory. And overall, OG, they set the tone early, 11 to four first quarter. And at halftime, it was 21 to nine a 25 to 7 third quarter for OG again with Carson Erford being the spark leading the way that's what established this victory for OG and has propelled them into the regional championship game on Saturday. Yeah, and we take a look at that matchup, Dave. Your first thoughts about the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Margareta Lady Bears. Well, we saw Margareta earlier tonight in the first game. They are very methodical on offense, very tough-minded with the basketball, and it's going to be a a game of two different styles. OG's going to try and push the game and get it up tempo. Margareta's going to have to take care of the rock and run their offense to perfection in order to compete. And I don't mean that negatively. I right, just right. think that they're going to be challenged a little bit with what we saw tonight. Obviously, our window is very small. We've only seen Margareta play tonight and tonight only, and they've had an outstanding season. But this OG squad, they take things away from you and make you uncomfortable, and that's going to be their goal on Saturday. And that'll wrap it up from the Elida Fieldhouse. For our entire WOSN crew, for Jacob O'Neill, Dave Bowen, I'm Danny Holbrook. The Lady Titans win this one 53-18. 
We'll see you next time. You've been watching High School Basketball on WOSN.